for each company, they have their own safety system. So today I will present about HIPS. So what is HIP actually? HIPS is an acronym stand for High Integrity Pressure Protection System. That's a specific application for a safety instrumented system. So HIPS is a replacement system for the conventional release system that we used uh, before. So to learn more, let's go. So let's continue. Basically, we have two types of hips. The first one is hydraulic hips and the second one is the electronic hips. And we have to keep in mind that the hips need to be designed with according to the following standard. The first one is the IEC 61508. This standard is functional for safety electronic or electrical and progress and progress program system and the second one is IEC 61511 which is the functional safety for safety instrumented system for the process industry and the last one is ANSI or ISA S84.01 which is application of safety instrumented system for the process industries. know where and when we will use the hips okay first is when we will use the hip when the environmental re restriction and safety constraint limit the venting and then when the overpressure risk shall be reduced next is when extremely high pressure are involved <laughs> next is sizing of really device difficult to define difficult to define Okay, next, where? Where we will use these hips? Okay, so the application is in the well height, well height flow line, pipeline or compressor, compressor station, flaring system, separation and processing facilities, gas plants, gas storage, FPSO, offshore platform, and lastly, onshore operation. Hi, uh, so today I will talk about the advantages of HIPS. Uh, first of all, it can protect the downstream equipment. Uh, besides that, it can minimize the flare system equipment, which can reduce uh, the pollution of the environment. Uh, the next one is, it can reduce weight of downstream systems. The next point is, it can maximize system availability it can also reduce high pressure pipelines or vessel over pressure risk. And the last one is it can reduce risk to a facility, a plant or a flow line. <laughs>